Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just created this look right here, which is kind of like my everyday full coverage glam. Everybody has their own idea of what everyday makeup should be, so this might be too much for some people, too little for some people, but this is just what I do on like the everyday if I'm just doing, you know, like a basic look for work or I'm just going out and just running errands for the day. So yeah, I use like a routine of products that I've been liking a lot recently and been using them a lot in not just videos, not that I'm filming the looks for the videos, but like using the makeup in the videos. So yeah, these are also just some like current favorites that I've been having. I've been doing a lot of kind of like chatty videos rather than makeup tutorials. But I, I do love filming makeup tutorials, so if you guys want to see more of those, then just give me a thumbs up and let me know down below. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Okay, so first, starting off with my Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette. I've been loving this one, using it so often. I'm first going into the shade Basic and just putting it all over my lid, making sure to set everywhere. I put eyeshadow primer down before I started filming, but yeah, so I'm just setting that down first. Now I'm going in with the shade Pris Pot. I can't even read that. It's like a nude beige color. I'm just putting that in my crease as my first transition color. I love this color. It's a great transition color for light to medium skin tones. That's been my favorite to use lately. Next, I'm going in with the shade Britches, and it's just like a darker nude color, just a little bit darker than the shade we used before. And again, just running that through my crease kind of as my next transition color before going in with the darker ones. Now I'm going into the shade Ragamuffin. It's just gorgeous burnt orange shade. I love, love, love the shade. And I've been putting that on the outer V and kind of dragging it in towards the corner. But this is a great, great color for blue eyes if you have blue eyes. Any type of burnt orange or even just like coral orange is really, really great. So I love using this one. Now I'm going in with the shade Alabama down here. It's this burgundy shade. And again, keeping that on the inner corner. No, not inner, sorry, outer corner of my eye and making sure to create that V shape so that it elongates my hooded eyes. Going back in with the shade Pris Pot, I'm just putting this on the inner half of my eye just to kind of create that ombre look so the lighter to darker burnt orange. I really like doing this because the lighter lid makes you look younger. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer and I'm just putting that all over basically my entire T-zone and a little bit onto my cheeks because that's where I've been noticing my pores. They've been much larger than they usually are lately. So I love this one. It's a great alternative for the Benefit Professional. I love that primer too. I just couldn't find it honestly this morning when I was looking through my collection. But yeah, so I've been using this one pretty often. Now going into my Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation. By the way, that is not a cut on my wrist. I literally just went to the Mac store before I filmed this because I'm ordering stuff off Ulta.com. And I swatched one there because I ran out of it on my hand. So if you see marks on my hand, that is exactly why I don't have cuts on the inside of my wrist. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just putting this on with the little wand that it comes with. Honestly, this is one of my favorite foundations lately because of the wand. It's just so easy to apply it. So I'm putting that there. And then taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which you guys, if you haven't seen my Unpopular Opinions or make a, uh, yeah, my unpopular opinions video. I'm going to link that below because I talk about the beauty blender in it, unfortunately, and why I like this one much better. Now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Chantilly. And again, this is also mentioned in that video, so that will be linked in my description box. So yeah, I'm putting that all over the places that you usually put concealer. And then I'm taking my same beauty blender or Real Techniques beauty blender, whatever, and blending that out. Now I'm taking my Tarte Unicorn brush, which I absolutely love, and I'm setting it with translucent powder. I think I used the Cody Airspun one. I just forgot to show it to the camera, but that's the one I always use, so you guys don't need to see it again, I'm sure. And next, I'm going to take my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation. I love, 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 love this powder foundation. It's the perfect shade for me when I'm fake tan. It's just the most amazing powder foundation that I've ever tried in my life. So if you're looking for a new one, then try it out. This is in the shade Light, by the way.
And now I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown and very, very light, lightly because it is the shade Dark Brown and I don't want to look too dark. I'm just kind of drawing in my eyebrows, just filling them in, and then I'm also going to take a spoolie, which I cut out, but I took a spoolie and blended it out. Now I'm taking my NARS Laguna Bronzer and again with that Tarte Unicorn brush, man, that thing is so soft. It is such a great brush. I am putting that in all the places that I would contour because I'm kind of using this as a bronzer and contour in one. And going in with my Benefit Roller Lash, I'm just going to put a coat of mascara on before I put on false lashes. Now I'm taking my Tarte Tardis Lashes, and this is in the shade Little Black Dress. I love these lashes so much, and they're not that expensive. Like, they're a little bit expensive, but not terrible. I'm just applying those onto my eyes. I've been loving these for, like, everyday glam because they're super long and wispy, but at the same time, if you don't look too close, they look natural. <laughs> Next, taking a flat definer brush, I'm going in with this shade. No, it's not flat. It's like a pointed pencil brush. What am I saying? I'm going in with Alabama and just lining the inner, no, yeah, the inner waterline of my eyes. And then taking Benefit Roller Lash and applying Lower Lash Mascara. I'm sure you guys know this is an essential step in a makeup tutorial. Now going in to my Too Faced blush again with the cut. It is not a cut, it is lipstick. I am taking my Too Faced blush in the shade Baby Love and applying that onto my cheeks. Again, been loving, loving, loving this blush. Now I'm taking MAC Soft and Gentle, which is one of my all-time favorite highlighters of life. If you guys want to see a best highlighters video, I am I think a few people have requested it, but if any more people want to see it, just let me know down below because I have so many highlighters and I will definitely recommend some of my favorites. But yeah, this one I absolutely freaking love to the moon and back. Now I'm taking Kylie's Expose. I didn't show it to the camera. Honestly, I don't know why. I think I just forgot. But yeah, so I'm just applying that onto my lips. I do line my entire lips, especially when I'm planning on going in with a bullet lipstick because I want to make sure that my entire lips are covered in both shades. Now I'm going in with Max Honey Love. Love this freaking lipstick. It's so pretty. It's such a sheer... Well, it's not like too sheer, I guess. It's, it's actually pigmented, but just an amazing nude brown color, but... It's not too nude where I look washed out. There's just something about it that I love. Anyway, that's all that I have for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Oh, I'm just setting my face, huh? Um, yeah, so that's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Bye.